Their only method of escape, a small boat tied up behind the orphanage. Safe now in a friend's home, the youngest remember how terrified they were. I was in front. We saw the wave coming. I got down in the boat. I am still afraid. We ran to the boat. I saw a car slam against the sea. The sea was black. I was so scared. When the wave came and lashed the boat from all sides, we were all crying and praying to God to help us. That's when this man of God made a desperate test of faith. With 32 people, 26 of them children in this tiny boat, he turned to the wave. I stood up, I raised both my hands, and I said, I command you in the name of Jesus to stop. And whether the hand of God or just good fortune, the engine was on the boat. We never leave the outboard motor on the, on the launch. I, this is the first time we have done that. It has happened to us. And for the first time, Stefan the boatman got it going on the first try. He just yanked the starter rope. In one pull, it started. I said, this is what happened. I called upon my God. I prayed, and my God answered my prayer. But the drama wasn't over. They still had to outrun the wave. There's no power on earth that could resist this, the force that was behind this body of water. So the only safe place was right on top of it. And I, then and there, I, det I, I, would, I was determined, I'm going to get on top of that. He ordered Stefan to turn round and charge the overloaded 15 horsepower motor straight at the wave. An hour and a half later, they all floated into the town of Batikaloa, drenched, spent, but alive.